Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kiva and I'm so glad to see you here. Today we're doing a master bathroom transformation. This was a product that I did on a whim. I thought it was gonna take three days, it took three weeks, but I love it anyway. I decided to you know, take some of that extra free time we all have now and do a big product that was gonna make me happy and this certainly did. So let's get into it. Before we get started, if you like what you see, remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and check me out on Instagram at kiva.brent. So when I started this project, the first thing I wanted to do is go on Pinterest and look at my inspiration. I look for black and white modern bathrooms because that's just kind of the vibe I'm going for. If you see my living, living room transformation and kitchen run out, you can see that black and white and gold are kind of our colors in the house. So I want to carry that into our bedroom. Plus I really wanted to try out a white paint because right now our walls are worldly gray and they look white if you're not standing next to something white, but they're not pure white, which I think is really clean and crisp, so I wanted to bring that in here. So the main reason that we decided to do this product is because we were having problems with our shower. The grout was falling off, the caulking wasn't good. We were having a lot of problems, so I just wanted to tackle that first. I had no idea that I was gonna paint the bathroom and so on and so forth, but once I got into the project, I realized that I wanted to extend the height of the shower, so we extended it actually by 16 inches, which is quite a lot, and I wanted to make it white, and the white was just kind of clashing with the colors we already had on the wall, so the first step we did, we actually painted the room super white by Benjamin Moore. So, after we painted the bathroom, the next thing we did was actually tackle the shower. So in order to do that, we had to take out the shower doors, the glass doors, so we um, unhinged them, so on and so forth. Then we took out all the tile. To get rid of all of our construction junk, we actually used white powder junk, especially since we were in quarantine and weren't supposed to be going out. So that's a really good pro tip. If you don't want to do that, you can actually order um, dumpster bags and they'll come and pick it up for you. I ended up removing the tiles with a chisel, and once we had all the tiles off, we figured out that we actually had a mold problem. So that meant we had to take off the walls completely, you know, do some treatment on that, get the mold out of there because it's not healthy to live like that. So we did that. And then once we exposed the entire walls, we found out that we had metal studs instead of wood studs. In order to rebuild the shower, we had to buy new walls, waterproof them, cement them down, um, and we used the Curdy Schluter system ultimately, which is the best waterproofing system on the market, or so I've been told. Um, I got all the steps on how to do this from Home Renovision DIY. So again, I used him for my kitchen transformation. If you want to do a DIY project and you want to know how, he's the guy to follow. Once we finally got the walls up, I wanted to tie up. Initially, I was going to go with marble, and I ultimately really didn't like the way that that looked because I couldn't find something that was bright enough white to really match the color that I got from Benjamin Moore, so I decided to go with subway tile. Traditional subway tile is in a horizontal pattern that's very kitcheny, um, so I didn't want to do that, so I decided to go with a vertical pattern because it really elongates the space, makes the ceilings look high, which they are already, and um, I just saw a lot of that on Pinterest and really liked it. I went by four by 16 tiles. I got them from Home Depot. I did Home Depot pickup, so I didn't have to go to the store or anything like that. It was brought right to the front, which was amazing. Once we painted the walls white, did the shower, I was like, okay, what's next? I love the color black, we have a black kitchen. I wanted to do black cabinets in here because we were also doing black matte hardware. So we ordered black matte sinks. Um, they're like waterfall sinks. I really love the way they look. They're from Amazon, I'll link them below. And then we ended up painting the cabinets a black matte as well. Um, I originally tried to do it with the paint that I used in the kitchen, and then I decided I wanted a darker black, and I wanted an easier way to do it, so I ended up doing it with spray paint. Um, I've seen other people do that. I don't know how long term of solution it is, so I'll let you know, I'll keep you guys updated. But for now, it looks great. It's a very even finish. There are no paint marks, which I really like. And then we finished it off with black matte hardware that we also got from Amazon. In here, I actually ended up doing the same thing. I had to spray paint um, this piece back here because we could not get it off for the life of us. I spray painted it. I used a craft bag and some paper, taped it down. You'll never know, and that's okay with me. You know, you just have to uh, be creative. In terms of the door, as you saw before, we had two doors that slid. They were always falling off the tracks, accumulating dirt and dust, and it just was kind of grimy. So I didn't want to do that again, plus they'd get so dirty. So I actually ordered a door off of Wayfair. This door is about 400 bucks. It came a few days. Packaged very well. It's just one single panel, as you can see here. You can see through it, it has sort of a blue tinge. It really didn't take us that long to put up. I, I didn't help it off, but it didn't take that long to put up. It took like an hour. Um, and it's really nice and elegant, and the bathroom was a little less cut off, so it really contributes to the idea that the bathroom is really big and tall. Now let's show you the final product. Before I do that, remember to subscribe to my channel, 
Like this video and check me out on Instagram at kiva.bren. This is what it looked like before. Now here's the after. If you like what you saw, remember to subscribe to my channel. Links to everything I purchased will be below.